Hatteras, the tale of two islands, unmatched beauty, a place you want to live. And then devastating hurricanes, slicing up Hatteras Island, blowing her over, spitting her out. Seven villages are struggling. Alan Burris's family has been on Hatteras Island since the early 1700s. Wow. Operating this Hatteras Village supermarket for 150 years on the same site. I think they're struggling economically. Uh, I think storms have taken a toll. Market owner Alan Burris has represented Hatteras Island on the Dare County Board of Commissioners for 10 years. We're still struggling down here from Isabel. We've not returned to the economic level that we were then. That was 13 years ago, but Burris and his neighbors are still trying to catch up from a hurricane that cost tens of millions of dollars in damage on Hatteras Island. You lose, say, 50, 60, 100 thousand dollars in an event, you can't get it back quick. Hatteras, the tale of two islands. Stellar island tourism numbers compared to the reality of year-round living. The Dare County Tax Office reports 143% growth in occupancy revenue collection since 2000 and 60% growth in restaurant collections over the same period of time. The best ever. I think that there uh, is a lot to be excited about. Lee Nettles, executive director of the Outer Banks Visitors Bureau, did not compile the numbers but thinks they show the vibrancy of Hatteras Island. I think that the area is ripe for investment and that uh, visitors are going to take comfort in that, um, that infrastructure improvement. What is the disconnect between what you're saying, what you're living, and these numbers? Oh, well, part of it is, is, is uh, while figures don't lie, people that figure do. Burris says there's a disconnect between year-round life for about 4,300 full-time residents and tourism numbers. Take Hurricane Arthur, July 2014. Arthur, you know, just for me alone, comes in here on the 4th of July and I, I'm doing a, a ton of, uh, of business a day and it drops to 200 bucks. Burris points to Highway 12, gets washed out on Pea Island, inlets carved out, emergency ferry set up. It is a long event and then people get, go in debt trying just to, to, to pay their electric bills and do the stuff they need to do. Hatteras Harbor Marina reports part of its business declining because big tournament fishing boats can't get through Hatteras Inlet, not deep enough, so they don't show up. Burris says a Cisco food distributor told him owners are trying to dump restaurants. Lots of businesses can't make it. There's a disconnect between the tourism numbers and what it's like to actually be a resident living here. Well, I would say that even with the tourism numbers, we're looking at aggregated numbers. So those don't necessarily reflect the individual experiences of, uh, of a particular business. So it's taken as a whole. Nettles points to the new Bonner Bridge, new Inlet Bridge, new bridge around Merlot Beach, critical improvements for quality of life on Hatteras Island. There have been some uh, challenging times, but I think that there's a lot to be excited about. We found this Salvo Surf Shop, best July ever. The Outer Banks Motel, best year in recent history, full occupancy in September. Rodanthius building what is supposed to be a bowling alley, laser tag, miniature golf and climbing wall. And Avon, the most bustling village on Hatteras. Burris says, good news, but the tourism numbers are deceiving. They want it to look good. They want it to be good. They want it to look as good as possible for everybody coming in and out of here. And I get that. 